Can you remember to key in your attendance? Okay, good morning, everyone. Yeah, attendance. Huh? So uh, we start off, continue with chapter 8. Okay, today we can complete chapter 8. Okay, so you need to do exercise 2, page 139. So uh, what you have learned earlier on, uh, your previous lesson last Thursday, the modeling process starts with identifying and define, defining the problems, then making assumptions and identifying the variables, then applying methods to solve problems. Next, verifying and interpreting solutions in the context of the problem, and then uh, refining the methodic model. And lastly, will be reporting the findings. So we can look overall to this chart. Okay, so from this chart, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, start with identifying and defining the problems. Then after that, making assumptions and identifying the variables. Okay, so from here, we can try to identify the formula. Okay, then uh, applying step one, step two, step three, applying methods to solve problems, and then step four will be verifying and interpreting solutions in the context of the problem. Okay, so if you are unable to find the formula in step two, so you need to uh, verify the solution and then try to get the formula in step four. Okay, it's either here or here. Okay, then need to re uh, step four. Step five will be need to refine the mathematical model, and lastly, step six will be reporting the findings. So, uh, there are three types of functions that may be used as a model. Okay, uh, the first one is linear function. The second one will be quadratic function, and the third one will be exponential function. Okay, that means uh over one over x y equal to one over x. Okay, that means the the x is at the bottom. This one is the x on top, and then it's a linear form because x power one quadratic will be x power two, the highest uh uh highest uh value for the uh, uh x okay power x and then this one will be uh the x will be uh, this one means a x means a positive and uh, a uh, negative x that means the a x can be at the bottom you know no 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 not this one this one is not the s okay no no this one is y equal to c a x okay the x at the top okay the power okay Example, you can look at the graph over here. Okay, this for exponential function. It means example uh, y equal to two power x. Okay, so uh, we can look here a not equal to one. It means this a cannot be one. Okay, it means two and above. Okay, so for example, c equal to one. If c equal to one. So the a equal to two okay 
So you get y equal to 2x, 2 power x. Uh, this one, uh, you get the graph, okay, from the table given by them, from the question, usually, okay? So we can uh, proceed. Next slide, okay, example three. I mean travel 405 kilometers on 45 liters of petrol in his car. Okay, this one is just like example one and example two that you learned previous lesson. If I mean wishes to go to a place which is 198 kilometers away from uh, by car, how much petrol in liters does he need? Solve this problem to medical modeling. Okay, so you you must based on the medical modeling process. Okay, the step one, step two, step three step four, step five, and step six, okay? So we start with identifying and defining the problem, step one, okay? So we have to identify and then define what problem, what is the question they want, okay? In the question, they say, how much petrol in liters does he need? So determine the volume of petrol required for 198 kilometer away. Okay, this is the problem they will ask us to solve. Okay, so from here, uh, we know that the further we travel, the more petrol we require. Uh, this is what we understand. Uh. Okay, the amount of petrol varies directly with the distance we, tra we travel. So, uh, given here, okay, let's say, amount of petrol is y and the distance we travel is x so y varies directly x okay usually there are three types of uh, graph as i mentioned one is linear second is quadratic and third is exponential okay so we start off with uh, we check whether it's suitable to get the linear equation first okay we can use the linear equation. We start with linear equation. It cannot only we start with uh, we start with uh, quadratic and so on. Okay. The next example four and example five, you will know how to identify the quadratic and also the exponential function. Okay. So number two, step two, making assumptions and identifying the variables. Okay. So uh, assume, okay, the assumption first, then only identify the variables. Uh, this one is in uh, example one and two uh, that you learn. Uh. So assume that the driving speed for 400 km and 198 km routes are the same. That means you want to explain that the 405 km given and 198 km that you want to find, the driving speed is the same okay then um, x represent the distance travel so x represent distance travel and y represent the amount of petrol required so y varies directly as x okay so when you change the varies into equal sign you put k in front of x okay where k is a constant okay so from here i can try to add the formula Okay, unless I can't find the suitable formula, then I proceed to step four. Okay, example four later on, you will know how to identify the formula in step four. Okay, continue from the example three. Okay, number three. Okay, it's not step one, step two, step three. Step three is applying methods in to solve problems. Okay, so this now y equal to the x is distance travel so x equal to 405 kilometer the y is petrol required so y equal to 45 liters okay so from here i replace just now the formula y equal to kx so y is 45 equal to k x is 405 so you find the value of k the constant 
So 45 over 405, you get 1 over 9. So from here, I can replace the 109 into the K. So I get the formula Y equal to 1 over 9X. Then he say want to find how much petrol. It means how much the Y. Want to find the Y amount of petrol required. So 1 over 9, the X is distance travel is 198. Uh, kilometer so you multiply you get 22 liters okay so this uh, is the amount of petrol required for the 198 kilometer okay after step three we proceed with step four verifying and interpreting solutions in the context of the problem okay so we look here we may not be able to use the linear function model y equal to 109x in all situations. For example, if 405 km route is through towns and cities and the 198 km route is through the highway, the car will use up petrol at a faster rate. Uh, if doing highway, the road is smooth, uh, you, you, you seldom brake, and then you just proceed to accelerate only. Then of course, when it's constant speed, you use up less petrol. If you are used, going through town and cities, you always break and then you have to pick up the, you have to press the fuel again and then break and then press the fuel again. Okay, uh, maybe you got bump or something, you have to press the brake and then, and then more traffic, then you will use up more petrol. That's the understanding. Huh? Okay, so if the car will use up petrol at a faster rate in the first road, that means the town and city compared to second road, that means compared to highway. Okay, so when this is translated to the real world situation, the linear function model obtained is not suitable to solve this problem. Okay, from the graph, I can see that if I, let's say I create the graph, the X and Y, okay, so uh, because there's no uh, y-intercept, so it start at zero, okay? It's a straight line graph because it's a linear graph. So y equal to 1 over 9x is this graph, okay? But this graph is not suitable when different situation. You only, when you assume uh, it's the same root, but the data given is not, uh, not thorough enough. Okay, is it the same group or not? So, after step four, we continue with step five. Okay, refining the metrical model. Okay, in this problem, we are not able to refine the model due to limited information given uh, because the information given is not detailed enough, so we can't refine the model. So, number six, reporting the findings. Okay, so we can't re redo again the findings, everything. Okay, this one usually example six, uh, uh, step six, usually not necessary to write or, or not needed. Uh. Okay, there's nothing to report here because we really refine that uh, lack of information, we can't refine the model. Okay, this is example three. So we can proceed with example four. So we look at example four. Okay, the table is given. The x and y is given. Okay, the diagram shows the cross section of a river. Okay, so this is the river. It means this is the river flowing, the water flowing like this. Okay, and then the cross section it, cut it. Okay, uh, a hydrologist measures the depth depth of the river. So this is the depth from the surface of the water to the uh to the bottom of the river okay so this is the depth okay if you look at the diagram the middle one will be of course uh if you go to other you see other uh river also is the same the middle one will be the deepest okay so uh the depth of the river is y meter at different distance x meter from the river bank. Okay, so compare when he uh, get the table from the depth. Okay, 
So between the depth and the river bank, okay, this is the distance from the river bank, the x. If you are depth over here, you are uh, measuring the depth over here. So the x will be here, the distance from the river bank, okay. So it depends on this, uh, where you measure the depth. Then the x will be at this. Okay, the result obtained are given in the following table. Okay, so we can try to understand the table. Okay, with zero, okay, zero means zero, zero depth. Okay, the same, the, the real bank is same surface, although there's no depth here. So the distance is zero, start from zero. Then it's the depth uh, increases. Okay, let's say here is 1.5. So the distance from the real bank is four. So here become four. Okay. If a depth until here two point nine, okay. Let's say here is two point nine. So the distance from the real bank is twelve. So from here is twelve. Okay. Then, if the depth of the river is two point nine again, it means the distance is uh, longer okay uh, 18 so so is the meaning if this is 2.9 also so here it become uh, 18 okay this now is 12 okay that means okay that means this is the deepest okay can you understand the situation this is the deepest uh, okay means this one distance uh, more and more but the depth uh, is like doing uh, u shape okay show how the hydrologist uses the data above to determine the depth of the river through medical modeling okay so we start off with the modeling process step one step two step three step four step five and step six so step one is identifying and defining the problems okay so we identify what is the problem okay it say the you want to show how the hydrology hydrologist uses the data above to determine the depth of the river you need to determine the depth of the river so that is the problem okay how to determine the depth of the river so second one step will be making assumption and identifying the variables so assumption first okay assume the river is the deepest in the river and the depth increases to zero at the edges decreases to zero at the edges that means start from here okay uh, and then deepest in the middle here okay then decrease to zero okay means the depth here will be zero okay and then the distance is 30. okay the assumption you make uh, must be for this process modeling process okay uh, on finding the uh, uh, verifying and interpreting the solutions. If it's not concerned, it, then no point writing the assumption. Then after that, identifying the variables. So the two variables involved in this study are the depth of the river Y and the distance from the river bank X. <coughs> Okay, just now from the table, the table is here, bottom here. Okay, the question. So after number two, step two, after this step one, we look at step two. After step two, now, because the step two, we can't add formula. Okay, because it's given the table, that means from the table, we need to create a formula. Because uh, from the look of the the table, if you create a graph, it's a quadratic graph. If it's quadratic graph, you need to create the 
graph first and then only you can get the formula. Okay. It's not a, a linear graph. Okay. Because going up and then going down again, uh, going uh, from zero and then increase and then the depth increases and then uh, decreases. Okay. So we look here, the third, the third step will be applying methods to solve the problem. So we need to apply the, we create the, uh, from the table, we create the graph. Okay. So given the Y is the depth of the river. Okay. The depth of the river. And then the X is the distance from the riverbank X. Okay. This is the X. So we uh, plot the points. So zero zero so zero zero x zero y zero so plot the point here x four y one point five x four okay so we need to create the scale first how to create the scale we look at uh up to you okay the smallest is zero the highest is thirty so you can create uh two four six eight ten or if one two three four five is impossible. If you put uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, also can. Okay. Uh, you follow this one 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, also can. It means plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. Don't put 4, don't follow this one. Huh? 4, 8, 12, 18, then 25, then 30 is wrong. Huh? You must have a uniform scale. Okay, that's called uniform. Huh? Then the Y, the highest is 2.9. So you can assume 3 point something. Okay, the highest. Or, okay, then the smallest is 0. So if 3 point something is involves, uh, let's say 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, doesn't make sense. So if you press 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1.2, 1.4, you cannot get the 3. Not enough mm -hmm. space so in 0 0.4 0 0.8 0 0.2 also can or 0 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2.0 2.5 3.0 okay maximize the usage of the graph okay then from here the one can also 0 0.5 huh? so uh after that we uh, plot the points 0 0 okay then 4, 1.5, 4, 1 point, 1 point 1.2, 1.4 here should be 1.4, so here 0.6, so 1.5 is meter, so it's over here. 8, 2.3, 8, 2.3, so 2.0 is here, so 2.4 here, so 2.2, 2.3 meter. Then 12, 2.9, 12, 2.8, 3.0 is here, so 2.9 is, 2 .9 is here okay then 18 2.9 so 16 is over here so 18 should be here because here is 20 18 2.9 25 2.7 24 here so 26 here so 25 will be here uh 1.7 uh, 1.6 here so 1.8 here so 1.7 here 30 and 0 okay here 28 so here will be 32, here will be 30, okay, 0. So you can draw the graph, you look, the graph is curved, so it must be curved. It's not a straight line. So draw the curve. Okay, so because you want to determine the depth of the river, it means the depth will be the maximum of the graph. Okay, so the maximum of the graph is Okay, so you have to find the value. Here, say it's 12, here is 16, here will be 14. Here will be, middle will be 15. So, middle 15. Uh, you can draw a dotted point, dotted line, so you can see the point. Then you draw a dotted line. Okay. So that you can see the point, huh? The maximum value so after that you get over here is 2.8 3.2 here will be 3.0 so that's how you get 15 
3.0, the maximum value for the graph. So uh, it's a quantity graph, okay, function. So uh, based on the graph, the depth of the river is three, okay. So this is the depth of the river. Here is three, okay. When the distance of the river bank is fifteen meter, so distance from the river bank fifteen meter, okay. That is uh, applying the matrix to solve problem. After applying the matrix to solve problem, step three, you need to proceed to step four, verifying and interpreting solutions in the context of the problem. Then find the formula because you are unable to find the formula in step two. Okay, so uh, verifying, okay, and interpreting solutions. So from here, I can use three points from the table, zero, 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 and then 25, 17, you can get, get any one, uh, any points, uh, okay? And 30, zero, okay? Because it's a quadratic graph, so we know the formula is y equal to ax, y equal to ax square plus bx plus c, okay? So from here, we have to substitute one by one. Okay, if x is zero, y is zero. So if x y is zero, then x zero replace replace. Okay, so y zero, x zero is zero square. A to go there, b uh, bracket zero plus c. So from here I get c equal to zero. Then the second one is twenty five seven one point seven. So replace x with twenty five. Y is one point seven. So y replacing 1.7, x is 25, x is 25. So from here, simplify it, I get 1.7 equal to 625a plus 25b plus c. Then the last one is 30, 0. So replace x is 30 and y is 0. So replace inside y is 0, x 30, 30. So I simplify, I get 0 equal to 900a plus 30b plus c. Okay. Then after this, uh, you have to replace the, the C equal to zero inside here. Then you can get, uh, you simplify it without the C because it's zero. Then from here, you try to find uh, using elimination method also can, replacement method also can, to find the value for uh, B and then A. Okay, so I get the A is negative 0 0.03136 and the B is 0 0.408. Then from here, I can replace inside this one. Okay, the quadratic function. Okay, because C is 0, so Y intercept is 0, so you can ignore it. Okay, so it becomes 0. So Y equal to A X squared plus bx so a replaced with negative 0 0.0136 so you get y equal to negative 0 0.0136 x square plus b you get 0 0.408 so b is 0 0.408 x then this is the formula okay this formula then we can substitute the form uh, just now from the graph 15 3.0 that means if the x is 15 replace inside you get to see the y is it same with the graph okay so replace inside uh, 15 and this one also replace inside 15 so you get 3.06 so you can see that this y 3.06 is somehow almost equal to the graph even okay that means this formula can be used up okay this is the formula that we can interpret after uh, verifying the step four verifying and interpreting solutions so we proceed to step five okay Refining the ethical model. Okay.
For this model, we assume the river is the deepest in the middle. This may not be true for some other rivers. Okay. A new model will be needed if we have new assumptions. Okay. So from the table, it looks like it's the deepest in the middle. Lah. Okay. We follow from the uh, data given to us. Okay. The answer will be more accurate if more data have been collected. Okay. Then after step four, we call proceed step five, reporting the findings. Okay, nothing to report because we already uh, found the equation. Okay. So that is example four. We proceed with example five. Compound interest is interest that is calculated based on the original principle and also the accumulated interest from the previous period of savings. Okay, uh, compound interest is what we have learned from three chapter three. Okay, at the beginning of a, of a year, Mr. Gomez saved 20,000 ringgit in his savings account with an interest rate of 4% per annum. And the interest is compounded once a year. We write a medical model for Mr. Gomez's total savings after T years of saving. Solve this problem through medical modeling. So remember the step. There's a step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, okay, and step six. So we start off with uh, identifying and defining the problem. Okay. So from here I can identify what is given to us. Uh. So given to us is uh compound interest compounded once a year okay say uh interest is compounded once a year okay given principal is twenty thousand means start with saving twenty thousand so its principal is twenty thousand net interest rate four percent per annum means yearly interest rate is four percent okay so we need to uh drive a mathematical model for Mr. Gomez total saving after T years of saving. So you need to find total savings at the end of T years or total savings after T years of saving. Okay. So number two, step two, making assumption and identifying the variables. Okay. If you ask me whether I can do it, uh, I can uh, do it without different this one will be tough la, at first but you need to uh, do more questions regarding this one at least you have to do more revisions only you can uh, remember the steps what to do okay this uh, will be tough question and then I uh, sometimes I think the question will ask you uh, step one and step two only okay or maybe it's a section c uh, you can choose whether you want to answer this question or not okay i don't think it will be uh, given to air all the students to answer it it's not called the compulsory it's a compulsory maybe the simple one will be compulsory uh, making the assumption identify the problem defining the problem identifying the variables and that one simple one uh, it can be composite question in paper two maybe session a session b but if we want to ask you to uh solve problem with using medical modeling that one may be session c you can choose okay either to answer this or not okay so we step two making assumptions and identifying the variables okay so we can assume mr comment did not uh, withdraw or raise his savings throughout the period of saving. Okay. It means he didn't uh, take out his money. The principal is still there. Okay. And he didn't take out the interest that he earned. He gained. Okay. The variables will be the principal. Okay. And then the yearly interest rate. Okay number of times of the interest is compounded okay so uh we, we start off with uh the variables uh rm p 
the P is for principal ringgit Malaysia. The yearly interest rate start with the symbol R. Okay, the interest rate is R. And then number of times the interest is compounded N. Okay, these are uh, using the symbol what you have learned in Form 3. And time T for years. Okay, that is the variables. So from here, uh, you can't derive the formula. You can't create formula. So if time is in step two, that means you have to only create the formula in step four. Okay, so after step one, step two, we continue with step three, applying the methods in to solve problems. Okay. So from here, uh, you can create a table. Okay. If you understand well the uh, form three one, okay. If total savings, because you still want to find the uh, total savings after two years of savings. So total savings, the formula will be principal plus interest. Okay, this is from three learn. Huh? So principal plus interest will be P plus PRT. P represents the principal, the R is the is now the uh, interest rate, and T is the years. Okay. So the, the first year, year one, the principal is twenty thousand. Okay. And then the interest received is twenty thousand times zero point zero four. This is four percent per annum. Okay. So four year by hundred. Okay. So principal plus interest, follow this one, principal by interest, that means this one plus this one, 20,000 plus 20,000 times 0 0.04. You can uh, round off, simplify it, you get this one. Okay. So amount of savings, total savings uh, is equal to principal of interest. So when you add up this one, you get 20,000 times 1.04. So if year two, Okay, that means the principal will be this one, uh, this one from here. Okay, this is the principal you bring forward over here. Okay, the interest received will be times another 0 0.04. Okay, then the principal plus interest, this one add up together. Okay, so we get 20,000 times uh, 1.04. Take out left only one plus zero point zero four. When you add up, because one point zero four so so becomes one point zero five zero four simplified one point zero four square. Okay. Then this principle put over here again. The interest received from the principle times zero point zero four. Then this one both add up, okay. So you get this one. So uh, you can take out twenty thousand one point zero four square take out. So left only one plus zero point zero four. And then add up you can one point zero four. Uh, then this one uh, power two add up together you become power three. Okay. So continue, 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 continue. Again. Okay. 1.04 power 1, 1.04 power 2, here will be 1.04 power 3, 1.04 power 4, and 1.04 power 5, and so on. Okay. Uh, it didn't mention how many years, it just say uh, after T years. Okay, after getting the table, so we can proceed to step 4, verifying and interpreting solutions. From there, we can get the Retrieve the formula. Okay, step forward, find an interpreting solution in the context of the problem. Okay, so from the table, we can also create the uh, graph. Okay, to find what kind of function is it? What kind of graph? Is it a linear graph or quadratic graph or exponential uh, graph? Okay, so we start off here, amount of savings, okay, 
this amount of savings and this one is years uh, usually the years we, uh, we put at the x-axis okay so we start off with uh, amount of savings so it's a uh, So you can multiply and see, okay, 20,000 times 1.04, you get 20,800. Okay, if you look here, uh, if 20,000, you get uh, 20 point something something. If you, this one you multiply, you get 21,000.632. Okay, if I use uh, 5, actually you can create uh, one more table. Uh, if you multiply, what do you get to find the graph? Okay. 20,000 power uh, times 1.04 power 5 is 24,333. Uh, 24,333. So it's not big difference. Okay. So you can. Uh, it is not big difference. You can't see the graph uh, in the uh, okay. Let's say you create the graph. Here yeah, we zero. Okay, so this is one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, is the years, and then uh amount of saving, because the uh, is twenty thousand to twenty four thousand. So if I put here, uh, ten thousand. Oh, oh, five thousand. Okay, five thousand. Okay, ten thousand. Uh, the graph is very small. No wonder they use the twenty thousand forty thousand. The graph too small. So if let's say the graph would be like this, uh, you can you can still get the uh, exponential function exponential graph. Okay, but it's not that steep lah. Okay, if they create like this, will be that if you using 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you will keep, see a better graph. But it's not a big problem. Okay, you can still use this kind of graph. Okay, one year, two year, three year, four year, five, fifth year. Okay, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, no problem. Okay. Uh, you must uh, because we want to show that what kind of graph is it so that we know what kind of function is it okay so from the graph okay we know it's a exponential function so y equal to c a x this the formula for the exponential function okay uh, from here i can create the formula okay the amount of savings okay uh, you can create just now uh amount of savings rm rmp principle and principle okay so amount of savings you can put a okay 
uh, amount. So he start with A. Okay. So for the T is the uh, years time. Okay. So equal to from here I can create the formula. Okay. From here so can. Okay. So this is the principal 20,000. So you put P bracket 1 plus so 1 plus the R is the uh, interest rate 0 0.04 so here we are R okay then uh, this one first year become power 1 second year become power 2 so you can put the T the time okay power 1 1 power 2 2 power 3 3 okay so in the first year here become one second year uh, okay so you can you don't write t also no problem you can write down the you want the formula a equal to t one plus r t like that also can okay this is the formula that we created okay After uh, verifying the interpreting the solution, okay, so we can, uh, okay, we can read the the sol uh, solution so far. Okay, based on the table in at the end of the year, the amount of saving is a power of one point zero four times of the principal twenty thousand ringgit, and the power corresponds to the number of years. Of saving we can generalize this pattern to a mathematical model by letting p represent the principle of the saving t represent the number of years and r represent the yearly interest rate okay the magic formula is a power a bracket t equal to p bracket one plus r power t where a is the amount of savings after t years this mathematical model is an exponential a function that allows us to calculate the amount of savings if an interest is compounded once a year for t years. The graph shows an exponential function. Okay, uh, the graph is this one a equal to 20,000 bracket 1.04 power t. The graph of the amount of savings after t years shows the exponential growth as time t increases. Okay. So after uh, step four, we proceed with step five. We find the metric model. Okay. So the metric model just now we find is this one. Okay. Uh, just to annual compounding. In reality, interest is often compounded more frequently. Okay. For example, compounded semi annually or quarterly. This quarterly means uh, each quarter they will compound or semi quarter uh, annually means half year they'll compound okay so if the interest is compounded monthly the interest rate is divided among the 12 months okay means one year 12 months every month okay so the rate is one over 12 of the rate is applied each month okay so from three that we learn the compound interest is using formula mv equal to p bracket 1 plus r over n bracket n power n t okay so from here i can create the uh, from this formula i can create a t okay this is the total savings okay matured value this is called mb is matured value and this is the savings total savings equal to p 1 plus r is uh, interest rate over 12 okay because the uh, if let's say it's compounded uh, monthly will be over 12 months okay so bracket uh, n is the 12 months okay times the t years okay so the model when you refine it the model can be uh, this formula okay 
if this is compounded uh, frequently, then use this formula. Okay, the step four is when you compounded or uh, once, okay, once a year. So, uh, step six, reporting the findings. So, uh, you need to write. Okay, uh, any questions you want to ask? Okay, uh, this one, as I mentioned, okay, uh, the more questions you do, you will understand it better. Okay, just have to do more questions and then refer back, refer back. Uh, remember to key in your attendance. 